Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about the centripetal wing on the Zenvo TSRS. So this is a really neat device here which it's a wing sitting on a center pivot point and then there are actuators on either side of that wing which can rotate it either direction. So it can go not only forward back but side to side and in doing so it can alter how downforce is distributed on the car. So this is a pretty neat idea. So we're going to talk about grip and then how this scenario may be beneficial to be able to turn tilt that wing to one side depending on you know which direction you're driving the car and so starting off very simply if you have a car uh, the grip that those tires have shown in green how much lateral grip they're going to have is a combination of a couple forces so you of course have the weight of the car pressing down on it which splits that weight between the two tires so the normal force is a portion of how these tires are going to have grip and then downforce so you have this wing right here and assuming you're just going down a straight line and the wing is completely horizontal then you're going to have that downforce evenly distributed and so you can kind of add these two elements together and that's going to give you uh, the grip for the core and it's ultimately what's going to dictate how high of speeds it can take corners. Now if you're going around a corner and you have this static wing which is in this flat position so let's say our car is trying to turn to the right and so we've got our wing flat. Well because it's trying to turn to the right the body of the car wants to lean left so you have load transfer to your left tire. So you can see the red element here which is our normal force. The force the loading on this out outside tire is going to be significantly greater than the inside tire because of that load distribution. And then because the wing is flat, you're going to have even distribution of your downforce. So you have an unequal loading between these two tires. You're not optimizing how much grip they could have. It's better to have them at uh, closer together forces so that the weight is completely evenly distributed amongst all of your tires and that gives you the maximum amount of grip which leads us to this tilting uh, wing here, which is pretty neat. So if you're going around a right-hand corner, the right side of that wing will go up, and this is to help counter that loading. So as you are going around that corner, of course, your downforce is now going to be, it's always pointing perpendicular to the wing. So that means it has a downward element, and it also has an element which is pushing the car to the right. And so as a result of this, because it's countering that uh, center of gravity, which is trying to, to load up this inside tire, but you have that wing providing a force back to this tire, you're going to have a more even distribution of your car's weight on both of these tires. And then, of course, you add on top of that the downforce created by the wing. So ultimately, you have that more even distribution. And not only are you fighting the corner with your tires, but you're also fighting that corner with your wing. So center of gravity, the core wants to go this way as you're turning to the right, uh, but you've got your tires fighting against that, so they're providing a counterforce, and that wing is also providing a counterforce. Now Zenvo claims that when this wing is tilted, you're going to have about 3% less downforce. But of the total amount of downforce that's generated, you're going to have a 30% of that force as a lateral load. So helping the car transfer that load back to the inside tire and have more even grip, better grip, and able to corner at higher speeds. And so, you know, what's cool about this, of course there's going to be a sacrifice, right? If you want maximum downforce, you're going to want the wing to be perfectly flat with the ground because your downforce is going to be the downward element of that. So if it's pointed towards the side, the downward element is smaller. And once you get flat, if you were you know, to have a wing like this, uh, then of course it would just push your car sideways. It wouldn't give you any downforce. But the, the reduction in downforce is very small relative to the amount of lateral uh, load that it has. And part of this is having this nice high pivot point. And so it's cool that, you know, there are other solutions out there. There are other companies which do active aerodynamics, but they really just sacrifice overall downforce in doing so. Because let's say they just have one flap on one side. So they increase the downforce on this inside tire, but they could, if they wanted, use a flap on this side and increase downforce on both sides. And instead they don't. So they just increase downforce in one area rather than overall downforce. So this is increasing overall downforce with a very little sacrifice, just 3%, while also having that benefit of loading the inside tire. So it's a very cool solution that they came up with. Now, as I mentioned, this wing can rotate not only side to side, but also front and back. And so by doing so, it can act like an air brake. So if the car's coming at you, it can tilt that up if it's braking, and then that can act as an air brake and slow the vehicle down. And it can also adjust the downforce levels by altering that angle, as well as the drag level. So if you need maximum speed, you reduce it. If you need maximum downforce, you can tilt it a little bit up. 
It also acts as an anti-roll bar. So this is pretty cool. Because of this high pivot point, let's say you're going around that right-hand corner, the car, of course, wants to lean. And so you've got the center of gravity, which is saying, let's tilt the car this way. But then you've got that wing with this high pivot point way up from the ground, which is saying, nope, let's tilt the car the other way. And so that can help counter that and act as an anti-roll bar to help keep the car flat as it's going around a corner. So pretty neat idea. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to think about. Uh, it's certainly weird to look at when you watch, you know, videos of this thing in action. It is strange because it's not, you know, like typical wings that we have seen out there. So it certainly looks a bit distracting, uh, but I think it's pretty neat. If you guys have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.